I'd like to now run you through the main features of Jellyfish. Firstly, I'll log in. Now the login can be done through uh, the use of a username and password word like I just did, or we can use a, another credential type like an OTP or even a smart card to log into the interface. All right, you'll see it's not a lot of information on that dashboard. We like to keep it relatively clean, but I'm going to move into the uh, the left hand side now and show you the alerting area. So firstly, um, we get a lot of information about what the alerts are on the system within this interface. Just remember there are a lot of videos uh, online already, so I'm not going to go through the features uh, feature by feature. They are already in separate videos on our website. So this just shows you the overview of the alerting features. You can see a number of different capabilities are alerting there, and you can actually modify that if you need to. Application management is where I'd actually uh, manage holistically a uh, organization's access to applications or a sub-organization of that organization's access to um, applications. If I want to do an individual or group, I'd do that in another area. So then we come to audit, and we can really see some of that system event information coming through uh, that I can actually display in there. I've also got the ability to get detailed logs, um, search those logs, those sorts of things. But this particular user doesn't have that access. So in terms of you can see that uh, the detailed logs there are actually greyed out, that's because this user isn't permitted to have uh, access to that feature. And we can do that, we can grey out those features, but we can also hide them as well, um, if that's the, the, the preferred way of going. Configuration is just about configuring the, the individual pieces for uh, a particular uh, tenant within the system. Um, this obviously supports a multi-tenancy arrangement or it can support uh, an on-premise solution for those organisations that are really large or they just have um, extra security requirements and don't want to share their data, even with us as the vendor. Uh, so now we get into the control of access and really we can actually uh, manage and use, search, um, physical access control systems, those sorts of things. Uh, we can also do logical access there as well, and then we can manage the actual physical access control systems themselves within the interface. Credential management uh, is one of the really strong parts of the interface. Uh, we, we really have concentrated on, uh, on you know, the credential management side of it. Uh, we brought a number of features together around uh, credentials uh, in that OTP, so one-time password, certificate management, all of those things, we brought them together. And we can do a number of things. The, the power really is that I can search uh, on a user, I can search on a resource, a device, and then I can actually search uh, all different fields and I can do Boolean searches as well to, to manage and to work with those particular credentials. And what I mean by that is I can say, I want uh, to search these credential providers. So uh, I want to search certificate authority number one and three. Um, and I want to search for user Richard Brown, and I want to search the certificates that Richard Brown got uh, over the last three months. I can do all of that within this interface. I can do those Boolean searches, and I can just continually add more and more fields to really cut that down. So I can manage uh, credential providers like certificate authorities. I can manage the CAs. Um, and their information. I can see what sort of information the uh, the CAs have produced, so how many certificates they had issued, what the revocations are like, all of those sort of things. I can also manage the domains that don't report uh, a violation in terms of they sit within my domain that I'm happy with people issuing. There might be other ones that I issue, but I only issue them rarely, so I just put in the ones that I mainly support in. You can see we can also support smart cards, all sorts of things, even virtual smart cards. Then I get into the identif identity component, and really here I'm able to add users, uh, edit their user details and what applications they might have access to, um, search for users of a specific type and go into their details, and then add things to that particular account. So I can do all those things. I can do them for devices, I can do it across roles that might go across a number of users or services. And I can even do organisations and sub-organisations in there too. So key management is another component that's a, a fairly uh, strong offering from us. 
And what that is about is that's really about allowing you to manage those really highly secured piece of cryptographic material that you might have stored in, say, a hardware security module to be able to manage that in a more friendly way. Um, some of those hardware security modules don't really present that information very easily. They don't really have a great human interface. We've provided that for you. And you can actually manage that holistically. So we can also manage objects within them. So not just keys, but the objects that might be contained within one of those highly secure devices as well. You can see here that we even have the ability to manage uh, devices that are connected through a mobile device management tool like AirWatch, for instance. Now, our monitoring uh, piece is actually quite, uh, quite uh, in-depth and capable as well. We can really see any sort of information here, like uh, the CPU usage is critical on this server that I've just brought up. The reason it's critical is because we've turned off the server so that we can get some alerts happening for it. So you can see uh, CPU, usage is, uh, CPU usage is high, or sorry, is um, not able to be seen, so check it. Um, or that server is basically reporting as um, having a problem. Reporting is another area that we're really focused on, and that's reporting all of the different information about your credentials, your identity management capability, all of those sorts of things are here, um, in here. Um, even the ability to uh, have a look at your invoices uh, so you can actually see what your subscription services are like. So I'm showing here the identity and access management reports that we can get, and we can customise some of those reports as well. So in self-service, we have uh, two areas, which is around password management, so uh, changing your password. And those passwords can be for a number of different applications altogether as well. Uh, so we can obviously support uh, Active Directory or your log log, uh, password change. But the password change in this system, other systems, Office 365, that sort of thing where it's not synced, those sorts of things. And then we can change information about our own account in here as well. So um, all sorts of information in there. Subscription is just your invoicing and your, uh, your addressing information, those sorts of things. And then we get down to support. Now, what is support? It's actually the ability to add and search on certificates so I can list um, all, this, all the uh, tickets that I've put in uh, along the way or whatever I want to do. I can add a ticket there as well. Down in vulnerability protection, we have uh, the ability to see some of the antivirus information, you know, what computers have been scanned, what haven't, uh, and adjust that as required. And lastly, we have... Uh, Workflow. So workflow is the ability for uh, us to basically approve and not approve application requests by other users, even approve our own uh, application requests if we want to access those sorts of things. So that's pretty much a, a, a full coverage of, uh, of what the product can do. Thank you.